15th, and you're watching Liberty Live. I'm Valerie Benuelos. And I'm Samantha Diamond. And let's see what's trending in the news today. Today's big story is the Jackson Liberty High School football team finally beat Memorial with a score of 14 to 0 Friday night. Good job to the football team. Yeah, they, they did a really, really good hard. job. And now for today's science fact of the day. The human eye blinks an average of 4,200,000 times a year. Today's big news is, of course, Liberty's football team defeating Memorial for the first time since our school opened the Lions, defeating the Jacks 14-0. Great job, guys. What an exciting win. We'll be bringing you a few of those key moments on tomorrow's Liberty Live. There will be a yearbook meeting today, today Monday, October 15th, in room D-102 until 2.15. See Miss Forsyth with any questions. The girls' soccer team will be selling shirts all month long to raise awareness for the Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Shirts will be sold for $10 in room C-115 and B-221. Proceeds will go to the Fighting Pretty Foundation and the soccer team. Anyone interested in playing girls' basketball this year? If so, there will be a meeting today, Monday, October 15th, at 145 in room B-209. If you cannot attend the meeting and you are interested in playing, see Ms. Savona or Ms. Flanagan or Ms. Micklow for, any, for information. Students applying for NHHS, the deadline for applications is today, October 15th. Be sure to turn in your completed application to Ms. Werner and B-114. The JLS Lions Roar News Source will have an interest meeting on Thursday, October 18th in C-120 at 145. Mr. Grubb needs students to help cover the various stories and events and be social media experts. Let's check out this new pa news package. Hi, I'm Cindy from JTV and today we're going to take a look into the Literary Magazine Club and how they produce magazines. The Literary Magazine meets every other Thursday in room C106 to discuss what goes into the magazines. What do you do in the club? Uh, well, it's called Literary Magazine, so basically we're all working together to create a magazine for the school. And to do that, we collect a bunch of art and written submissions, like stories and artwork and all that, to compile together to make a magazine that we saw at the end of the year. It's basically like yearbook club, but with a literary magazine. Why did you start the Literary Magazine? Um, a literary magazine existed within the district over at Memorial, so it was something that we were going to put into place. They needed an advisor, and because I have a love for the written word, um, I thought it would be a good fit for me. Uh, it was an opportunity to be creative, and I was lucky enough to be selected as the advisor. So, why did you join the club? Well, I joined the club in my freshman year because I really wanted something to do after school. And you know, it's good to have a club after school. A place to hang out, talk to new people, experience new things. So I thought, why not? This club seemed like a good fit. So I joined. So why did you join the club? I joined Literary Magazine because I've had a few friends in the class and I used to have the teacher as my English teacher. So I was quite literally yelled at for two years straight to do this club. So I figured, why not do this club? What's your favorite thing about running the club? Um, my favorite thing about the club is it's really student-centered. So it started out with just poetry, um, but then we grew into song lyrics and short stories and basically any kind of creative written word that you could imagine. So I think my favorite part is the fact that the students take ownership and I get to see the creative talents of all my students. Or I should say of all the members, because they're not necessarily all my students. Probably the people. Like, I just really enjoy the good atmosphere and friendly vibe the whole club gives off. Do you intend on staying in the club? I do intend on staying for the next two years because, from what I understand and from what I've been told, it, it looks pretty fun. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, do you intend on doing this next year? Yes. Anyway, that's a wrap. We now see that the Literary Magazine Club puts care and precision into the magazines they give us every year. I'm Cindy Lee, reporting for JTV. That club looks really fun. Yeah, looks maybe we should try to do it. It looks really fun to do. Yeah. There will be an interest meeting for both boys and girls swimming on Wednesday, October 17th, after school in room C-104 until late, bu until late buses. Come hear from current members about their experiences with the swim family. See Coach DeSanza with any questions. There will be an interest meeting for boys and girls bowling on Tuesday, October 16th at 1.45 in room C-207. If you have any questions, see Coach Pagliaro or Coach McDowell. 
Attention all home for the holiday auditioners. We will be contacting you today about callbacks for a few people today. Thank you for your time and talent. Attention skiers and snowboarders. The deposit to hold your spot is due for the Ski and Snowboard Club on November 2nd. The buses fill up fast, so make sure to get your money in. Paperwork and trip information is on www.jacksonskiclub.com. Anyone interested in spreading good vibes through the halls of Liberty in order to promote a positive climate, apply to be part of Liberty Lighthouse. Pick up an application and guidance or any VP office and turn into Mrs. Myers in guidance by October 16th. Nations Among Nations are looking for 10 students, basketball players, to participate in the student versus staff basketball game. If you are interested, please stop by C-115 to sign up with Ms. Tig. Game is Thursday, November 1st. And the SAT word of the day is Biguel, influenced by slyness. And now let's check in with today's weather. Today will be cloudy with showers early with a high of 72 and a low 46. Tomorrow will be cloudy with a high of 57 and a low of 44. Wednesday will be sunny with a high of 59 and a low of 48. It looks like it's going to be really cold. A little chilly, maybe like pull the long sleeve. Yeah. And now it's time for this day in history. In 1917, Mata Harry, the archetype of seductive female spy, is, ex oh, is executed for espionage by French firing squad at Rossini's outside of Paris. And that's all we have for today. Have a great day, Liberty.